Upon my greeting, I was seated accordingly, and dealt with payments and of all things orderly. All's but quiet, dim and still. Charlotte said not a word, just handed me a quill. Silent as the night, though bright in her face, I run in quiet, heart beats on a slight, though her smile lights up the place. I was shown to my room and quickly laid to rest. Little did I know. Remembers the waking, yet still in the stream, in the very same room, the stranger would seem. Portrait of death, still up on the wall, across my bed just before the door. Locked into his gaze, or at least that's how it felt. Intuity or craze, regardless, fall back asleep in doubt. But shorter than a moment, I woke up once more. Still in this room, the atmosphere felt darker than before. The painting still there, the ghastly nightmare, that dreadful devil glare, what a horrid soulless stare, fixated. Upon me, not the slightest astray. I'm spread wide as though he plans to sweep me away. A dream within a dream, sure, though now it seems a haunting memory. From thriller to psychological horror, this dream became a nightmare so quickly. I watch, stiff in my bed, unable to move or scream at all, as from out the painting death would slowly crawl. Sleep paralysis, so it's cold, though it seemed too real. As he stretched from out the painting, reaching for me now, just before my heels. Just before my torso, his hand reaching for my face. Though through my head, his hand goes as though I'm but a figment, an idea out of place. Like I'm there, but I'm not. Though he sees me too clearly, he tries and tries reaping me. Though fails dearly, all the while in pain, I'm not under my breath with whatever strength I could gain. Cussing death till finally woken, shaking, swearing, thankfully never to see Charlotte's in again. 